Hey guys, it's Django here. Hope you're having a fantastic week. Before I get started, I just want to quickly say thank you very much to all the new subscribers. I believe about 40 of you guys subscribed after my, what I thought was a very mediocre video on Reason 10.4. I don't know what you were thinking, but thanks for joining the crew. The plan for today is to rewire Reason into Reaper with separate outputs from each Reason instrument into its own track inside Reaper. So there'll be MIDI going from Reaper to the instrument inside Reason, and then the audio will be coming back into Reaper. So we can basically sequence Reason as if it were a VST. The templates I'm gonna use will be available in the video description down below. So the first one is a track template. If I go track, insert track from template, you'll see I've got quite a lot but the one we'll be looking at today is this Reason Rewire one. So once you've downloaded it, you will go to Options, Show Reaper Resource Path. And in my case, it's in my user folder, App Data Roaming Reaper. On a Mac, it'll be somewhere else. So that Options menu is probably the best way to get to it. So you'll paste the Reaper track template into this track templates folder. Cool, so now we are busy loading it. Reason's asking me to log in because I've got some rack extensions on trial, I guess. Cool, so this is not what we're looking at today. This is my usual template. Instead, we're gonna go new from template and choose this rewire one. This will also be in the video description. To install it, you basically go into this show template folder, and that's in my music folder, reason template songs. So you'll paste it in, in this folder, and then when you relaunch reason, it will be available in that menu. Same goes for Reaper, you have to reboot the program first. So with that out the way, let's have a look at this template. If we tab to the back, and press K, it hides all the cables that aren't related to the device we've selected. So now you can see that the master out from this master section is going into one and two. What that allows us to do is preview sounds from the browser inside Reason. For example, if I go into a loop and we play it quickly and we go into Reaper's mixer, you'll see that there's sound on those two channels. So those channels are being sent to the master from this track. And then all these other tracks, which you can sort of see there, are being sent to these individual MIDI tracks effectively. Reaper only has one kind of track. This is a dud, by the way. I'll delete it from the template before I upload it. And basically, reason one will be controlling this first blank combinator. There's nothing inside it. You can drag an instrument into it or a loop for an Octave Rex. And I'll turn off playback for it. So now if I press a note on my keyboard, you can actually see that it's making sound, but we're not hearing anything. The reason for that is that Reaper is actually protecting us from feedback. All Reaper knows is I'm sending something from this track to that one and something from that one to this one. So it's protecting me from feedback. If we go into File, Project Settings, under Advanced, you can actually allow feedback routing, which they warn can cause lower performance and loud noises. I'm not sure about the low performance in this situation, but if you do notice anything, uh, you can always reroute all the audio to separate tracks. So now with that enabled, hey, hey, we're hearing. We're hearing Dr. Octorex. And you can see here, it says that it's getting a note input. You can see here that it's getting a note input. And we can see it's rooted into the back into the combinator and out this mix channel. And the mix channel has the direct out going into three and four, which means it bypasses the master section. This master section is only here so that we can preview things without having to load them into a device first. Let's fill some of these other blank combinators with other sounds. 
and I will show you some other cool features of this rewire template. So now if you want to load, say a combinator patch, I would recommend loading it over the existing combinator like that. And if you want to load an individual device, say subtractor, then drag it inside. The reason is that these combinators are already assigned to those MIDI buses. And also I have assigned these rotaries inside Reaper. Let's hear the sound. This is track three. So I'll go to three. And now we're listening to the subtractor. A quick aside is that because subtractor has a mono output, we can't add stereo effects to it without using some sort of a spider router. But what you can do is go into the actual mix channel, show inserts. So then we can put a stereo effect on that subtractor. Let's make it ping pong for maximum stereo effect. Dial down the dry wet. And you can hear it's working. Now let's assume we want to affect this filter using one of these rotaries as sort of a macro knob. How we do that, of course, is going to the programmer, going onto subtractor, rotary one, and assigning it to the filter frequency. Now, that knob is controlling filter frequency. And if you go inside the track on the effects tab, you'll see I've got two instances of recontrol MIDI. The first one is for the rotaries and the second one is for the buttons. So we assigned the filter to this first one, the first rotary, and there it is. So that's super handy. For the buttons, any value above zero is on. So you'll see this button is off right now. And if I turn it up to one, now the button is on. So you can easily automate these. If you move the parameter, you go parameter, show track envelope, and there it is. Now we can automate it. Also, by the way, the inputs I've selected for recording are all MIDI inputs, all channels. So if you have a particular device you want to lock to a track, you can also do that with whatever keyboard you have plugged in. So cool, I think you guys have gotten the idea of this template. Let's record something in, why not? Let's turn the metronome on first. It's an interesting little sequence. Did we load something on this track? I think we may, may have. And of course you can add other tracks and sequence some things. This is my splice folder. Search for a kick. That's interesting. And this is one of the things I like about audio editing in Reaper rather than Reason. I've got my grid settings as keyboard shortcuts and I can duplicate things like that. Now, obviously I'm using Reaper for this rewire template, but you could use any DAW you like. You could rewire it into Ableton or FL Studio, Logic, Cubase, Studio One, whatever floats your boat. Hope you guys found that useful. Thanks for watching. Have a great week. Cheers.